All right, so we're live now, I think. Yeah, we're live now. Hello, everybody. Hello, world, and hello, Philippines, and hello, Middle East, America, Europe, or wherever you are right now. We are graced by the presence of our ever-loving mother, Mother Dragon, with a lecture on speaking. All right, so I'm going to leave the floor to you. <laughs> Hello, thank okay. you so much, Manuel. Ariana, thank you so much for that wonderful, uh, what do you call this, <clears throat> uh, introduction. By the way, guys, we are so sorry for the delay. We have had some technical difficulties in the background. But here we are again live at IFNG on Facebook. So let me just share our live right now, guys, okay? So for those of you guys who have friends who are preparing for the IELTS examination, this is a free lecture regarding the speaking examination of the IELTS, okay? So if you are a student who is, <clears throat> sorry, pardon my voice, I swallowed a lot of things, okay? <laughs> so if you guys are having difficulties when it comes to uh, what they call this, your speaking examination, then of course, guys, um, you are going to be learning a lot of things, okay? With our lecture for tonight, okay? Okay, well, let me just share this one. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. There we go. I have already shared it. Okay. So how's everybody there on Facebook? Hello, guys. Okay. So for those of you on Facebook, please do tag your friends right now on our discussion. Okay. So yes. Um, kumusta yung bago kong hairdo mga anak? Diba? Wow. Hermes bag. Sabi. Ano lang yan, anak? I bought it in Divisoria. Arot. <laughs> Somewhere over there. Okay, so let me just share this one to the page of Elite Intellect 9 and let's start. Okay, so <clears throat> I have a question for the buggy. I don't have that. But I, but I, but I, but I, but I, okay, so I have a question for each and every one of you tonight before we start our discussion. Okay. What do you think is making the speaking examination difficult for the students, okay? What is making this difficult, okay? Come on, I want you to type your answers there, and I'm going to be reading it before we start with our discussion, okay? All right, so structure, yes, that's actually true, guys. No? The structure sometimes could be a little bit confusing for the students. Limited range of vocabulary, good. Okay, lack of practice, okay, good. Procrastination, okay, lack of confidence. There we go, pronunciation and diction, lack of ideas. Okay, yes, so if you're going to be boiling it down, generating ideas, if you're going to be boiling it down to one topic, guys, basically, there are some lapses, okay, when it comes to the students that they would need to cope with, okay, on the speaking examination, like the organize or like the organizing of thoughts, um, quick making up what do you call this swift or abrupt, <clears throat> what do you call this generation of ideas and the likes. Okay, so before we begin, guys, let me just introduce myself to each and every one of you. I am jubilant to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect, IELTS, OET, and Clex and MCCBT spe specialist. PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years, also known as your Mama Dragon, Mother Dragon, Mama D, Mother D, Mommy D, lahat ng uri ng D. Hap Filipino, hap Filipina. <laughs> Ayan na. Nagsimula na tayo. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers on Facebook. Okay, so from Peachy, she said fillers. Yes, generating ideas from, 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 from Arthur John. Hi, Arthur John. Anak. Okay, from Arthur John, confidence. Okay, grammar and lack of practice. Yes, that's accurate. That's, that's pretty much accurate, guys. Okay, when we are talking about the speaking examination, it does not just entail for you to answer questions. No, okay? Because some of the students, they have this common ideation that the speaking examination is just answering questions. That's it, okay? No, it's not, my children, okay? There are a lot of things that entails the speaking examination. And for this entire month, the month of March, we are going to go and discuss that here at IFNG every Friday with Elite Intellect, okay? So guys, later on at our Elite Notes, I will be uh, giving you guys a checklist, okay? 
ang tagline, nakalibutan mo. Oh yeah, by the way guys, please do not forget our um, official hashtag for tonight. That's hashtag Mama D Cares. Alagang ina, kwentong ina, turong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Yan ang ano natin dito eh, di ba? Alagang ina, kwentong ina, turong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. <laughs> Alam mo yung konting-konti na lang, konting-konting maling pronunciation na lang mga anak, magka- magiging iba na, okay? Alright, so yeah. <clears throat> This uh, later on, guys, I will be giving you a checklist, okay? I will be giving you a checklist to ensure that you're already prepared on your speaking examination. And of course, this checklist, you can use it, okay? So the good news about this one is we're going to be completing the checklist on the four-week series of discussions of Elite Intellect 9 with IFNG, okay? So now, I'll cover na natin yung first three dun sa checklist natin. And then sa mga susunod na discussion, lahat ng checklist na yun, makukumpleto na po natin, okay? So thank you so much for typing hashtag Mama D Cares. Diba? Sumabay na rin ako. <laughs> Hello to our 86 viewers at Zoom and 104 on Facebook. Welcome, guys. All right. So let's begin with our discussion for this evening. Before anything else, let's talk about a message of love first, okay? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. This is from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 23. Know, guys, that when you are thinking of subjugating something like let's say the IELTS examination sometimes it could seem impossible like your 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 goals are way out there okay but you have to remember guys that it is never impossible with the lord okay so learn how to work with your preparation using your faith in Jesus name okay guys so let's begin okay can i get an amen up in here amen okay guys all right, guys, please tag your friends. I miss you, Mama D. Hindi na ako nakaka-attend ng live. Ay, hindi ka nakaka-attend ng live lecture ko kanina, anak. Borket. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm actually very happy, guys. I'm not going to tell you the reason why. Pero masaya ako. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay, mga anak, if you're not able to attend, okay? All right, so let's begin, okay? Let me now start with our discussion. Let us now start with our lecture about the IELTS speaking examination, okay? So, pag-ready na po tayo para sa mga susunod na linggo ngayong araw hanggang sa mga susunod na linggo dito sa IFNG, please type 1121. Parang listening exam lang, ano? Please type 1121. Okay, private message from may imamak po ba si Mama Di? Meron bang magpipresenta? Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng isang part dun sa discussion, guys, with which we're going to be doing a live assessment here at Elite Intellect. No? I will be the examiner and then the students will be uh, the students will, I will be conducting the exam for the students. So if you want to present yourself, no, uh, to be assessed on our live assessments, maybe that's on the last week of our discussion, no, or third week of our discussion, message the admins of IFNG para makapag-volunteer kayo na mamak natin dito, okay? Ano to? Ini, inihahain ko na ang sarili ko. Go, anak! Okay, guys, so... Let's go. All right. So tonight we're still going to be using Elite Notes. Again, if you would want to get a copy of this one, for my students who are watching, don't worry, I'll be sending you guys a copy of our Elite Notes. But for those of you who are members of IFNG, I will be sent the, the admins will be sending this one onto your group chat later on. Now, sir, what if I'm not yet a member of IFNG or IELTS Filipino Nurses Group? Okay. The thing that you have to do is after the lecture, guys, where you're watching this video, IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, message message the admins and tell them to add you to their group chats, okay? So that you'll also get a copy of our Elite Notes tonight. Tignan nyo naman, pinaghandaan ko yan. Oh, ang ganda, ba? Ako nagsulat niyan. Kaya pagpasensya nyo na, ako medyo lasing yung sulat ko. Okay, <clears throat> so let's talk about the IELTS speaking examination, okay? So first things first, guys, no? Is sometimes the first or the last test of the IELTS exam? Um, Sir Joseph, why is it the first or the last test of the exam? Okay, 
Sometimes your speaking examination, it goes before your written day. Or for those students who are lucky enough, your speaking examination will be after your written day. Okay, so it will be dependent on your scheduling for the examination. So, sir, anong mas gusto mo? <coughs> Nauuna ba ang speaking or nahuhuli ang speaking? If you're going to ask me with my preference, basically, I would want the speaking to go first. Yeah, so that I could leave the drama of the speaking behind, okay? I may focus on my listening, reading, and writing examination, okay? So I prefer it to go first on the test, okay? I love it when the, the speaking examination goes first. Okay, so you will be put to a test via an interview, but, okay, one thing that I would want you to remember when it comes to this interview is it is an academic interview. Okay, Sir Joseph, what is the difference between an academic interview and a basic interview? Okay, guys, listen, 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 my children. Okay, when that is a basic interview, unsubstantiated answers or unsubstantial answers would be enough. Okay, what's your favorite food? I love eating adobo. That would be totally fine. But then again, if it is an academic interview, you are expected to expand your answers. So if you are a student who loves doing this on the IELTS speaking practice, you're, let's say, limiting your answers to just one sentence or two sentences only, then you better consider to elongate your answers somehow for you to supplement your details. Okay, all right. There will be an interviewer and an examiner that will be listening to your recording. OMG, Sir Joseph, I didn't know that. I thought the one that I'm talking to on that day, that will be the one who would be grading me. Yeah, technically they will be grading you, but there's another examiner who will be listening to your recording, okay? There will be another examiner who will be listening to your recording, and then they're going to correlate their scores together, which will give you your final score. So mga anak, please, given that this examination is recorded, what I would want you to do is to speak in, a, in an audible way. Okay, hindi po pwede na bubulong-bulong ka doon. Sa Ilocano, we call it agtaltalamitim, right? In Ilocano, taltalamitim, ganyan-ganyan ka pala sasalita. Alam mo, kinukulam mo yung examiner mo, okay? Don't do that on the test, okay? After listening, reading, and writing kasi pagod na. Yes, that's true. Right, <clears throat> so do not, I repeat, your, your voice should be audible enough for it to be recorded on the test, okay? Now, what else? Examiners are not impressed by how smart you are. Remember, it is an English test, so how you deliver your answer matters, Okay. If you like to think this way, oh, I'm smart, totally smart, like I'm really smart, you know, like I am so smart, even smarter than Einstein, because my IQ, you know, my IQ is 72. <laughs> even if you are the smartest person there is on earth, okay, if you're not comfortable with your verbiage, Okay, or the way that you confabulate information to your examiner, you will not get your target score. Okay, you don't have to be a genius or you don't have to be smart for you to pass your speaking examination. Oh gosh, I know a lot of people, a lot of students of mine, like myself, like we, we were not smart when we were in college. We were not the ones who would be like um, uh, the top of the class. But then again, we got a 9.0 in speaking. Why? Because we are confident when it comes to delivering. And that's how we should be on the test. You don't have to be smart, okay, with which you have to explain how boron transforms to megatron, yung mga ganyan, o kung ano pa mang mga chemical compounds yan, di ba, o sibika at kultura. No, you don't have to be that smart on the test, okay? You just have to have commendable verbiage on the examination itself, okay? All right. Ilocano gayam ni sir? Taga, no ka sir, ninanang ko, Iloko, si tatang ko, kuya po, the witchcraft capital of the north. <laughs> Charing lang. Okay. So, dapat pala sir, medyo lakasan ng boses and of course, clear. Yeah. Your voice should be Audible, okay? Your voice should be audible enough on the examination, okay? Pero mga anak, huwag nyo na manghiyawan yung mga examiner nyo, ha? Baka mamaya ganito kayo, ha, sa exam. Well, there are a lot of things that I enjoy in this world, you know, but of course, if I'm going to be choosing one, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> 
don't yell at your examiners on the test, okay? Just the right amount of volume would be enough, okay? Kailangan naiintindihan pa rin na examiner yung sinasabi natin on the examination, all right? Sorry, I'm so excited because, you know, you know, the speaking... You know, the speaking techniques of, or the speaking did put elite intellect there, okay? On the map, okay? Way, way back before, this is where the students learn. The, uh, this is where the, this is where at IFNG we were able to share our ideas when it comes to speaking, no? Okay, so I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited. Okay, <clears throat> so... What are the things that you have to remember on the speaking examination? First one is, as I told you earlier, it's an academic interview and not a basic interview. Sir Joseph, what's the difference between an academic interview and a basic interview? When you say it's an academic interview, guys, you're not going to be answering on the basic side. Okay, let's say I asked you about your favorite. Okay, all right, come on. I want you to... Open your chat boxes right there or your comment section if you are on Facebook, okay? Or if you are at Zoom, open your chat box right there. And I want you to type the first thing that comes into your mind, okay? I want you to type the first thing that comes into your mind, okay? What comes into your mind when if I ask you your favorite flower? Come on, go. Flower. Flower. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. All right. Come on. Okay, so let's check at Zoom. Okay, at Zoom, we have, uh, okay, rose, tulip, lotus, tulip, sunflower, tulip, tulip, rose, rose, lotus, roses, rose, tulip. Sir, what's your opinion on virtual speaking test while wearing a mask? Well, I think you're allowed to take off the mask, naman, if you would if you would prefer that. Pero ako kung wearing a mask could actually impede your the way that you deliver, so you can actually replace it with a thinner mask if they're not going to allow you. Okay, black rose. Okay, carnation. Charot, di ba? Champaka kaya. <clears throat> okay, champaka o kaya ano? Kantutay. Yung ano, pangalan nun, um, West Indian Lantana. Alam na alam ko yung bulaklak na yan. Yan yung mabaho, yung dilaw, yung may bayo-bayolet. Di ba? Yung kapag piniga mo yung bulaklak, naku, maghapon na yun. Sa lahat ng bulaklak, hindi, hindi pabango yun. Pabaho yun. Totoo. <laughs> Okay. All right. Kalachuchi, diba? Sir, any difference with general speaking versus academic speaking in terms of difficulty and scoring? For academic in general, they're the same when it comes to your question sets. No, It just so happened that sometimes the questions are easier when it comes to the general training. Okay. Queen of the night. Okay, guys. All right. So unfortunately, as I was looking at your um here on Facebook, okay? None, to be honest. Okay. We have one of which is unique here. Okay. So guys, here on here... Uh, look at this one. Jasmine. Okay. Tulips. Okay. Sunflower. Better wear helmet. Huh? We're talking about flowers. Anak, ano bang helmet nagsasabi mo dyan? Okay. <clears throat> so, look at that. On the examination, if you will be asked the question, okay? Like your favorite flower. Who among you thought of a blue baptisia? Sir, what's that again? Blue Baptisia. Okay, because basically, if you're going to say rose, tulip, three lip, four lip, five lip, helmet, on the exam, guys, believe me, those will be stated by the other test takers. Okay, likely there would be 50 people who will be asked their favorite flower on that day. And unfortunately, around 40 of those would say rose or tulip, okay? So you have to be unique, okay? You have to show the depth of your acumen when it comes to these topics, okay? You have to show the depth of your acumen when it comes to these topics. Blue Baptisia, guys. Blue Baptisia is actually a flower that is blue in shade. That's why I love it. Um, Have you watched The Purge? Have you watched The Purge? The purge, the, the flower in the purge, blue baptisia. Okay? Hi, Mama D. Kinis ng face mo, talo mi. Ano ka ba naman, anak? Filter lang yan. Don't believe it. Yeah, Frajipani. Oh, like the one in, ano, eh, Jo Malone. One of my favorite scents too. Chrysanthemum. Okay, that's good too. Okay, yeah. So you would need to give them something unique or to show them the depth of your acumen. Okay, here's another thing, okay? Let's say you will be asked by your examiner, guys, 
do you think it's better recommended for the children to start reading at an early age? Okay, halimbawa yan. Do you think it's recommended for the children to start reading at an early age? Most likely, around 70% of the population will say yes. Right? Yes, because they can learn their camera bam bam. They can learn this. They can learn that. They can hone this. They can hone that. Right? But then again, if you're thinking interactively, you should say no because it might disrupt their natural development. Diba? You're forcing them. Oh, okay. <clears throat> What if yun talaga ang favorite flower mo? Hindi po ba mas mahirap mag-expound about something you're not familiar with? If you're not ready with it, then mahihirapan ka talaga, nin si anak, ba? Diba? That's why I'm here telling you guys to not state things which are basic on the examination. So you would need to prepare. Hindi po pwede na andun lang tayo sa ating comfort zone on the exam. Okay? All right. Ano to? Raflesha. Sige nga. Amoyin nyo nga yung raflesha. Ano? Oldie na yan. Maglaro tayo mga anak. Singhutin natin yung raflesha. Ano? Oldie. <laughs> Bawal mag-react dapat ha. Yung pag sininghut mo yung raflesha, dapat di ka magre-react ha. Okay. Alrighty. Yung malaki, yes, the big flower. It's like a carnivore or something flower. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so what else? I would say yes because I have uh, my argument to say so that I can spontaneous. That would be possible too, guys. I mean, I'm not saying for you to step out of your comfort zone, but if you would be daring enough, why not do it? Diba? I mean, at the end of the day, I will not be teaching you to get just a 7.0. No. Okay, if all the people here at IFNG know me and my signature when it comes to speaking, I don't teach the students to get a 7.0 only. I am teaching you guys to get way beyond that. Okay, so... Good luck sa dimethyl disulfide. Ano ba yan, Daryl? Kung ano-ano na may sinasabi mo? May masakit ba sa'yo, anak? Okay. So next one. Delivery and tonality are imperative. Okay? When we say delivery and tonality, guys, listen to this example delivery. Okay? Well, uh, there are a lot of things that I enjoy in our local community because these are the things that make people jubilant. Look at that. Right? Well, there are a lot of things that I enjoy in our local community because these are the things that make people jubilant. Is there tonality in there? No. Well, there are a lot of things that I enjoy in our local community because these are the things that make people jubilant. Right? There is emotion with the way that you're talking. Hindi yung para kang robot, no? Para kang lasing, di ba? Di ba? Ayan na, teka lang, nagising na naman ako. Wait, kalma, kalma lang tayo guys. Ha? Kalma lang, kalma lang yung discussion natin para hindi ba ubos ang energy. Okay, so what else guys? <clears throat> Galing ko mag-Korean, no? Ha! Huh. I've learned from the best. Okay. <laughs> Content, vocabulary, and grammar matter. Okay? These three things, okay? They matter on the examination, okay? Emotions and natural English speaker when it comes to the speaking test. Yeah, that's true, right? When you are speaking, naturally, there's emotion, right? You're not memorizing on the exam for crying out loud. Guys, it's actually counterintuitive to what you have been taught elsewhere that you would need to memorize responses. The examiners have been trained to spot memorized answers, so you would need to make it natural. You would need to make it conversational on the test, okay? So, confidence and composure will make a significant difference on the exam. Answer the questions, okay? You cannot choose the questions, okay? Unfortunately, some students, when they are asked the question, they tend to say, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, okay? I want everyone to cooperate here. Do you think it's virtually possible for people not to have an idea about the topics? Yes or no? Okay. Do you think it's possible for people not to have an idea about the topics? Yes or no? <clears throat> yes. 
Is it possible for people not to have an idea about the topics? Yes or no? Okay, so some say yes, so others say no. Okay, let me break to you something, my children. The questions on the IELTS are general, not uh, general knowledge based. Okay. They're general knowledge based. They're not going to be asking you about specialized knowledge, like let's say chemical composition, how a diamond is formed, di ba? Yung mga, in- wala kang may encounter sa IELTS na parang hinugot sa kili-kili ng tikbalang na pink. No? All of the questions on the exam, we have an idea. However, the culprit is you know what to say, but you do not know how to say it. Again, on the exam, it seems like the students do not have an idea about the topic because they know what to say, but they do not know how to say it. Okay, so that is the difference. Wag kayong kabahan sa exam, mga anak ko, no? Kasi sa exam, tandaan nyo, all of the questions here on the IELTS speaking examination are general knowledge, not specialized knowledge, okay? Walang maiitanong dyan na rocket science, okay? I think the most diff- I, in my 12 years of existence on the IELTS world, I think the most difficult question that my student was asked was about economical proportions. Hello, pag mataas ang dolyar, mababa ang piso. Diba? That's Gusto niyo yung tikbalang na pink, diba? <laughs> Mamaya covering for a fall. Bet nyo? Okay. So guys, no, don't be afraid, okay? What is it, Grace? Mother D, is it true that some examiners ask about certain current issues? Yes. Yes, some of the examiners, they're going to be asking about current issues. Like per, per se, the COVID-19 has been asked recently, right? The COVID-19 pandemic has been asked recently, okay? But nothing political, okay? Nothing political. They're not going to be asking you which color are you siding on the election, no? Hindi ka nila tatanungin dyan. What they will be asking you on the exam would be something about elections maybe, or is it, it is something about the pandemic, or is it, it is something about um, how how the how the people within business cope with the pandemic in your country. So yes, nagtatanong din sila tungkol sa current events, di ba? <clears throat> okay. Ano to? Kung sino ang manalo doon tayo, mga anak. Ako talaga I don't I don't encourage my students to fight between colors on the exam, okay? Ang magagawa lang natin bilang mga Pilipino, kung sino man ang manalo, magdasal tayo, okay? Magdasal tayo na magabayan nila ng tama ang bansang ito. Okay, <clears throat> so, next one. Mother D for president. Diyos ko, pag ako talaga na naging presidente, lahat ng mga nurses ay kikita ng 700,000 monthly. Meron silang libreng tatlong sakong bigas. Ihahatid namin sa mga bahay nila, lutuna. <laughs> Di ba? At dahil nga naman, mahirap tumambay. Napakahirap ng wala kang ginagawa. Lahat ng tambay, bibigyan natin ng subsidy. Bibigyan natin sila ng 60,000 na pesos na sweldo dahil nakakahiya naman sa kanila. Nakakapagod, tumambay. ba? Ay, ewan ko lang kung di pa ako manalo. <laughs> The dragon yan party list. <laughs> ano yung request mo, anak? <laughs> Ay, nako kayo talaga. Oh, mag-discuss na tayo. Mamaya maniningil na ako ng pa-entrance, di ba? O oh, huwag kang mag-alala. Well, hindi NFA rights ang ipapadala namin sa bahay ng mga pagod nating mga kaibigan ng mga NARS. Ang ipapadala natin ay basmati galing sa India. Okay, may ulam pa, di ba? <laughs> Takbo na daw sabi ni RD. Baliw ka, RD. <laughs> Okay, guys. So, 
Choose to like your examiners rather than worrying if your examiner likes you. Unfortunately, a lot of students, they tend to care a lot. Okay, yeah, believe me, this is one of the things that the students tend to care for a lot on the exam is that when you are asked the question, diba, you, you tend to worry if the examiner will like your answer or will like you as a person. My love, they do not, it's not their job to like you. Okay, So I'd rather you choose to like your examiner rather than worrying if your examiner likes you on the test, okay? Yes. Basmati rice, yung mahaba, di ba? Yung tatlong subo pa lang, ano ka na? Busog ka na? I like your positive energy. Thank you so much, GA, my love. Ikaw, vice ni Doc Carl, pag tubakbo siya, o di ba? <laughs> Hi, Doc Carl, if you're watching. Hmm? Feeling close. <laughs> Feeling close si Bakla. <laughs> okay, guys. So, yeah. Are we learning so far? Okay, good. <clears throat> All right. So, let's take a look at Mabadi's speaking checklist. Okay? This is the checklist that I'm talking about. Okay? I want you to check the items here. Okay? Once you have accomplished them on your IELTS speaking preparation. Okay? This is for the... Speaking only, okay? Not for the writing, not for the reading, listening, anything, okay? This is for the speaking only, okay? Let's take a look. Master the parts of the speaking. When you say master the parts of the speaking, it's one thing to know the parts. It's another thing for you to master the parts, okay? Next one. Understand and follow the grading criteria of the exam. Okay. <clears throat> Alam nyo ba, mga anak? Okay, here. Let me tell you something. 80% of the students who fail the IELTS speaking examination is because they are not following the grading criteria. That is why all my students at Elite, okay, the Elite Babies, this is the first thing that I tell them to do. I want you to study the grading criteria of the speaking examination so not so that you know what to do. You know what the exam is expecting of you. Halimbawa ikaw anak, magjojowa ka. Kunwari ikaw yung exam ha. Halimbawa magjojowa ka. Okay, maghahanap ka ng jowa. 'Di ba meron kang expectation sa jowa? 'Di ba? Guwapo, check. Mayaman, check. Maputi. Check. Imaginary. Check. Kaya hanggang ngayon, single ka pa rin. <laughs> Walang ganon. Mahirap makahanap ng ganon. Di ba? <clears throat> okay. So, ganon din sa exam. You have to know what the exam is expecting of you as a test taker for you to give it its expectation. Di ba? Ang pasensya. Di ba? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Lahat naman tayo, guys. Gusto natin yung ganun, di ba? Pag magkakagusto tayo, Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng guapo, mayaman, maputi, mabait, responsable, hindi babaero. Di ba? <laughs> Sometimes, the Lord knows best for you. Di ba? Kung binigyan ka ng guapo, mayaman, maputi, pero babaero naman, o di sumakit pa ulo mo na, o di doon ka sa medyo chiririt para kalmado ka lang, Diba? Sabi nga ni Andrew E. Anong sabi ni Andrew E? Humanap ka ng at ibigin mong tunay. Diba? Basta mahaba ang pasensya. Diba? Ako din, mahilig ako sa mahahabang pasensya na yan. Ewan mo ko ba sa ibang lalaki, ang ikli ng pasensya? Dapat mga lalaki, dapat pag mga babae, pag kukuha kayo lalaki, yung mahaba yung pasensya. Yung mahaba talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Aray ko, sabi ni Rochelle, mama di kahit pangit naglolo ko, yun lang, di ba? Ay, naku. Paano po pag mukha ng tipaklong, ng bababae pa? Eh, ibang bagay na yun, anak. Oo. Yan yung mga supernatural powers na, na hindi na natin kailangan, hindi na natin kayang i-explain. Okay, so, <clears throat> next one. Okay, look at the third check, third part of your checklist, Okay. Work on your vocabulary prowess, okay? The difference between academic and highfalutin words is colossal, okay? There is a colossal disparity between academic and highfalutin. I'll give you an example, okay? Let's say commendable, commendable, benevolent, 
commendable and benevolent. They're both academic. Whereas if that is highfalutin, schadenfreuden, habercock, haberglabber, persnickety, these are all highfalutin, okay? Don't use highfalutin words on the test, okay? Unfortunately, some students, they tend to get confused if that is highfalutin or academic. Ganito lang ang para tandaan mga anak. Pag walang root word, highfalutin yon, Okay? Tignan mo halimbawa, commendable. Diba? Commendable. What's the root word? Commend. Okay? Commendable, the root word is commend. So that is academic. Whereas if the word is schadenfreuden, I mean, hello, what's the root word of schadenfreuden? Schaden, Freud, or done? Schadenfreuden. I don't even know how to spell schadenfreuden. Diba? Yan, yung mga Lotharingian. Diba? <clears throat> Yan, nga nga tayo sa mga ganyan. Huwag highfalutin mga anak, okay? Kasi ang highfalutin, they are deemed as informal, okay? They make your delivery unclear, okay? Whereas, for academic words, they make your delivery advanced okay commendable benevolent tutelage mga ganyan di ba okay all right recap the significant grammar rules okay let's talk about grammar rules sir ilang grammar rules ba meron sa buong mundo 845 to be exact okay 875 pag ilasama mo yung special grammar rules pero ang kailangan mo lang sa exam ay 12 12 grammar rules okay so just recap the basics, okay? Hodgepodge, yung mga yan, no? Hodgepodge, yan, mga ano yan eh. Highfalutin yan. Okay, <clears throat> so what else? Practice your pronunciation, delivery, tonality, and emphasis, okay? Some students, unfortunately, they see this as something that is hopeless, okay? Bakit Sir Joseph to nagiging hopeless for some students? Because when they are pronouncing, they think that the thing that they got used to can no longer be changed. Yung iba na rin niwala, you cannot teach an old dragon new tricks. Diba? You cannot teach an old, do old dog new tricks. Hindi totoo yun. Okay? You can actually hone your skills if you're just going to put the time required for it. Okay? All right. And of course, practice your speaking daily. Breakout sessions, coaching sessions, assessment. Diba? Kung wala kang ginagawa, mag-breakout session ka. Kung, kung nakaschedule ka sa coach mo, magpa-coach ka. Diba magpa-assess ka? Guys, magkaiba po. Ewan ko ha. Pero sa amin kayo sa elite, magkaiba ang coaching at assessment. Okay? It's different. For coaching, we're going to be teaching the student, correcting them. Okay? And uh, looking at their performance. For assessment, kung ano ang pinakita mo sa akin, yun na ang iiskuran ko. Diba? So coaching and assessment are also important for you to prepare systematically. And of course, you're ready for the exam if you have done all of these. Okay? Wag kayong mag-alala. Ngayong buong Marso, this entire March, we're going to be covering all of these plus more. Okay? Here at IFNG. Okay? All right. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the important part. Follow the grading criteria. Okay. Um, pakitapik nga po yung katabi ninyo na natutulog, kung hindi man po pakitapik, pakitapik po yung sarili ninyo. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Wake up, wake up, wake up, everyone. <clears throat> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Kokuto, kokuto, ah, Coca-Cola, nalilito, chari. <laughs> <laughs> yung mga pumalakpak daw po makakapasa eh, sabi, in Jesus name o oh, ulit nga po, ulit guys okay, ready, ready if you're happy and you know we clap your hands if you're happy and you know we clap your hands okay, there we go o, oh, de, nagpalakpakan kayo diba, <laughs> alright guys, okay, <clears throat> so Follow the grading criteria. To amass your target scores, you would need to follow the grading criteria. After all, this had been formulated to depict what the exam is looking for. Okay? This is based on the IELTS Speaking Band Descriptor 8.0. Okay? All right. Kinumpile ko ito, mga anak, at ito lang ang pinagbabasehan ko sa mga estudyante sa elite. Okay? And I will share it to you too. Okay? For you guys to know what to do on the exam. How can we sleep with this lovely speaker? Ano ka ba naman, anak? <clears throat> rock a baby on the treetop. Stupid! When the wind breaks, the cradle will rock. Stupid! <laughs> 
remix pala. <laughs> remix pala. Makakaloka kayo. Wait lang, kalma lang. Okay, so, let's take Salbaklita, di ba? Ako si ano, Nasty Bex, di ba? Wasak na wasak ang puso ni Nasty Bex. Okay, so, let's take a look. Okay, I would want to share this to you guys because you have... the right to know the grading criteria of the IELTS, okay? Don't worry, this is not illegal. This is the the public version, okay? This is the public version. Of course, di natin makikita yung private version nito. This is the public version, okay? Tignan natin kung ano ang hinahanap ng IELTS sa inyo. And let me explain this properly to you guys, okay? Listen carefully, mag-focus para alam mo kung anong hinahanap ng exam. Malay mo, ikaw na pala ang susunod na makaka 9.0. Diba? Saya mo nun oh, pag nag-apply ka ng trabaho sa ibang bansa. What's your IELTS score? I'm sorry, but I've gotten a 9.0. Oh, you got a 9.0. I got a 10. May 10 ba yung exam? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the first criteria, okay? Fluency and coherence, okay? Mga anak, one thing that I would want you to remember when it comes to fluency and coherence is that fluency does not mean fast, okay? Hindi porket mabilis ka magsalita, fluent ka na. Hindi rin porket may accent ka, fluent ka na, okay? It's not because you're, 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 you have an accent or you're fast with speaking, you're already fluent, When we say fluency, this is you're speaking fluently with only occasional repetition or self-correction. Hesitation is usually content-related and rarely to search for language. Okay? You develop topic coherently and appropriately, meaning you have an overall flow when it comes to your speaking exam. Let me illustrate a person with an accent who is not fluent and a person that does not have an accent but is is. Fluent, okay? Here you go. <coughs> With accent, not fluent. <clears throat> um, well, in our local community, uh, there are a lot of things that we tend to do all the time. Like these things are mostly for the benefit, of benef usually benefits the people. Okay, so I know that the person has an accent somehow, but it's not fluent, okay? Without. accent <clears throat> well in our local community there are a lot of things that people tend to do somehow and most of these things benefit them okay fluency does not mean accent okay it's the clarity of your delivery the overall flow your understandability trying to avoid um um e e o u lahat ng vowels na pwede mong sabihin as fillers okay all right yes diba you speak with clarity and have the humility to impress the examiner that's actually true diba Unfortunately, some of the people, they tend to be madaya. We call it madaya in, in, in Tagalog. I don't know what's the English of madaya. No? They tend to put their, their fillers in between their words. Diba? In the Philippines, there are a lot of people who are doing this because they are... They, ano to? Pirated DVD ka ti? talon talon ka, girl? Diba? Catriona Gray style. Diba? <clears throat> I've worked a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is just poor and it's very sad. But I thought myself to see situations with a silver lining. Diba? Isang paalala, ano yung gamot ay di dapat gamitin gamot sa mong uri ng sakit? <laughs> Pau di arco, tanggal ang aw sa pao. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay. So yeah, look at that, guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what's the next one? Okay. All right. A lot of people, I'm so sorry, but they tend to die with this grading criteria. We're talking about your pronunciation. Okay. You're using a wide range of pronunciation features. Okay. Your elongation, if you would need to. Like, for example, your this versus these. Diba? This. These, okay? There we go. Versus your bag and bug. 
bag and bug. Your voiceless TH, your th, and your voice TH, the. Your PFVB, marami pang ibang bagay mga anak. And of course, guys, the way that you are delivering the words accurately. Okay? What else? Sustains flexible use of features with only occasional lapses. Okay? Your AE pronunciations too. Diba? Instead of saying apple, apple, or apple, 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 it's in between your a ah and your e. Eh, okay? You would need to articulate, you would need to pronounce them accurately. And of course, it's easy to understand throughout. Okay? Sa mga nagtatanong sa akin, Sir, para po ba makakuha ko ng 9.0 sa speaking? Kailangan po ba sa pronunciation naka-accent po ako? Kung hindi ka naman naiintindihan ng examiner mo dahil sa accent mo, ilubay mo anak. Don't use an accent if your examiner cannot understand you when you're speaking. Di ba? <clears throat> Baka mamaya ikaw eh. Well, there are a lot of things in the local community that I tend to love to go to. You know, because given that I am from the Philippines, there are a lot of things that we tend to do all the time. Ano to? Diba? Hindi ka naman naiintindihan. Okay? So you would need to pronounce them properly and pronounce the words accurately. Okay? What else? Your L1 accent has minimal effect on your intelligibility. Okay? Sir, what is L1 accent? That is your language one accent. Okay, when we say language one accent, let's say you know where the where you know where these people are coming from just by basing it on the accent, okay? All right, no pun intended, okay? This is for educational purposes only. For me to demonstrate where the people are coming from, okay? <clears throat> But believe me, not all speak like this in, this in these countries, okay? Just a disclaimer, no pun intended. This is just for us to demonstrate, okay? All right, tell me, where is this person coming from, okay? <clears throat> well, you know, over there, when people tend to go there, yeah, uh, they tend to enjoy a lot of things, you know? Like the one there, mm, over there, <laughs> you elevate the pit. You elevate the pit right there. That one over there, ay naapo, Right? You know, well, that some, some, unfortunately, unfortunately, realistically speaking, some have that accent, okay? But not all speaks that way. Even my classmates before in the United Kingdom, when they heard me speak, they said, you're from the Philippines, right? I said, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to speak like this for you to think that I'm from the Philippines? You Filipino pancit eating charing. Okay. All right. What about the next one? Okay, here we go. There are two types of microscope. The simple microscope and the compound microscope. The simple microscope is... <laughs> Where are we coming from? If we sound like that, right? I mean, yeah, you know where these people are coming from, right? By just listening to the L1 accent, right? Those two illustrations right there, they're both... Would they call this on the L1 accent? Okay, but guys, again, not everyone speaks like that. Okay, like I'm from the Philippines, but I don't speak like that. Diba? I have friends that are from India and they don't speak like that. It's just that sometimes the L1 accent could actually affect your speaking. So, sir, how do I get rid of my L1 accent? What's the best way for me to get rid of my L1 accent? Uh, for you to get rid of it, basically, you would need to practice neutralizing it. Diba? Instead of saying... Over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Okay, watch Catriona Gray, the way that she speaks, and watch Miss Leia Salonga. Watch Catriona and Leia Salonga, the way that they speak, believe me. Oh, 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 oh. These two, huh? They're so good. All right, <clears throat> what else? Oh, bana. The ever controversial lexical resources. Oh, grading criteria to ng exam. Hindi ko, sina, hindi ko to inimbento. Pwede nyo i-google to. Okay. <clears throat> uses wide range, uses wide vocabulary resources readily and flexibly to convey precise meaning. Meaning you're not limited to basic words only. Okay. Uses less common and idiomatic vocabulary skillfully with occasional inaccuracies. Okay. When we say less common language, okay, instead of saying, well, it's very good, you could say it's commendable. All right. Or instead of saying, well, there are a lot of people in our country who are very, very poor, you know, you can say marginalized, right? Instead of saying, oh, it's bad, you can say it's atrocious. 
right? Instead of saying, oh, it's very difficult, you can say it's cumbersome, right? So those are academic words, and they are not highfalutin words, okay? They have a significant difference, my love. And if people hear you speak using onerous, cumbersome, uh, commendable, benevolent, and they say that that's highfalutin, tell them to go to Google and then find the meaning of highfalutin and examples of highfalutin for them to know. Because basically, if I'm looking at lexical resources right here, it's expecting for you to use less common and idiomatic vocabulary on the exam. Okay? So yeah, better do that, child. Okay? Yeah, better do that. Okay? So, sir, what about idiomatic language? Okay, let's say idiomatic expressions. On the speaking exam, you can use idiomatic expressions that are business idioms. Like, for example, I am on the fence with this one. We would need to pencil something in. Yung mga ganyan, pencil something in on the fence. Yan, magaganda yan. Pero mga anak naman, pwede po bang lumayo na po tayo sa ano? Lumayo na po tayo sa over the moon? Through the fire. I was over the moon. Yan. Paki, pakilayuan na natin ng konti yan. Kasi circa 2020 pa yan, mga anak. Batch pa ng mga admins ng IFNG yung over the moon. So think of something that is better. Okay? Para hindi naman mapagod yung examiner. Okay? Ano pa? <clears throat> burning the midnight oil. Yeah, you can still use burning the midnight oil. What else? Um... Yan, yung mga yan, okay? So you can use business idioms, okay? How to co co collab to judge. How to collab to judge. Ano yun, anak? Okay. All right. Swim against the tide. Okay, you can use that. Pwede naman, mga anak. And guys, please avoid colorful idioms, no? Colorful idioms like be in the pink, I leak green, uh, it's vivid and bright. It looks like a unicorn's den. Yung mga ganyan. Pakilayuan na, okay? All right. Use paraphrasing effectively. Okay? When we say paraphrasing, you're not paroting your examiner. Magkaiba ito, mga anak, ang pagpaparaphrase at ang pagpaparot ng examiner. Okay, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many brothers and sisters do you have? When you're paroting the examiner, you're saying... <clears throat> when you're when you're parroting the examiner, you're saying, I have three brothers and sisters. I have three brothers and sisters. You're parroting. Basically, you're repeating what the examiner said. Why not try to say, I have three siblings? I have three siblings, siblings. Okay. Or let's say, what is your favorite drink? Instead of saying, My favorite drink is, okay, you can say, I love drinking soda for refreshment. Okay. So, yeah, you would need to paraphrase. Don't copy what the examiner is saying. Unfortunately, some of the students, they're going to copy what the examiner is saying in the beginning, and then at the end, kukopyahin na naman nila kung ano yung sinabi ng examiner. My favorite drink is blah, 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 blah. So that is my favorite drink. You're you're farroting. <laughs> you're farroting your examiner when you're doing that. Okay? Child. For you to get a good score on the exam, you would need to paraphrase effectively on your lexical resources. Kerry, claro bunga, mga junak ko, naiintindihan, natututo, nagigising sa katotohanan, very good! <laughs> Natatawa ko, sir, sa reaction mo. Oo, yung, yung kapag ka ano, Ano to? R.I.P. Bread and Butter. Naku, Diyos ko. Anak, alam mo ba yung bread and butter na yan? Eh, panahon pa namin. 19 kofong-kofong pa yung bread and butter na yan. ba? So, marami naman kayong business idioms sa pwedeng gamitin. O sige, okay. paalala nyo sa Sir Manuel, please remind me. Next week, isesend ko yung ano ha? Yung pangalan nito. Yung copy ng business idioms sa pwedeng gamitin ng mga estudyante. Okay? All right. <clears throat> All right, so what else? Let's talk about this one. Oh, your favorite, guys. Grammatical range and accuracy. Who here loves grammar? <laughs> Who here loves grammar? I know I don't. I don't love grammar at all. 
<laughs> Sir, but you're an IELTS lecturer. I know, right? I mean, nobody is perfect when it comes to grammar. Even the native speakers, they tend to commit grammatical errors and they're not aware of it. Although, my children, you don't have to be perfect with grammar, okay? You don't have to be perfect with grammar. Do not be a grammar Nazi when people are talking, okay? All right? On the exam, you just have to know the basics of grammar, okay? I am not me, diba? Yes, just wondering why this bread and butter became... Yeah, bread and butter. That bread and butter kasi... But that was during our time pa eh. Bread and butter, sour graping, yung mga yan, di ba? Panahon pa namin yan. Kailan pa ako nag-review ng IELTS, mga anak, 2008. 2008. 2021 na. Di ba? Okay. <clears throat> so, ilang taon ka na? 18. Yes, that's true, EJ. Good job. Okay. Sometimes you need to have the humility, especially when you speak and never sound like you're You're, you over-impress the examiner. That's true, okay? Everything that I am telling you right now would be useless if you sound arrogant on the exam, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not sound arrogant on the exam, okay? Hindi po pwede na ganito mga anak sa exam. Well, you know, in our in our local con in, in our country, a lot of people are playing this type of sport all the time. I mean, they are always fond of doing that because oh my god, Karen, you cannot sit with us. Uh, you cannot speak that way, okay? Mga anak, when you are speaking on the exam, you should be conversational, okay? Well, you know what the, the interesting about the interesting thing about the Philippines is that a lot of people love to focus when it comes to culture, cultural balance, diversity. Yung mga ganyan, no, para sasalita kayo hindi yung para kang may sakit sa utak para nagsasalita ka, di ba? In the Philippines, there are a lot of things. Also, guys, please try to make yourself sound natural on the exam. It's a conversation. Okay, it's a, um, I have an idea. Would you support me with this one? <clears throat> I have an idea. Would you support me on this one? Sa assessment day natin, bago sumalang yung mga estudyante na magmamak speaking sa amin, ako muna ang magmamak speaking at ang examiner ko si Sir Manuel. Bet nyo yon. Bet or no bet? <laughs> Sa assessment day, okay? Sa assessment day, bago sumalang yung mga magla-live assessment sa akin, bago sila sumalang, ako muna ang magla-live assessment. Ako muna ang estudyante, kunwari. Bet or no bet? O, oh, bet. Diba? Bet na bet. O, de, bet lehem. Bet nyo pala eh. Okay, go. O, sige. Si Sir Manuel ang examiner ko, ha? Okay. Kung hindi available si Sir Manuel, si Ate Genji. Pero mas masaya pag si Sir Manuel. Pero bawal tumawa, ha? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at grammatical range and accuracy, guys. Okay? So, use a wide range of structure flexibly. Okay? You would need to use the structure flexibly. Apart from that, um, frequently produces error-free sentences. I'm not, it's not saying, okay, look at this sentence right here. Frequently produces error-free sentences. With only very occasional inappropriacies or basic or non-systematic errors, is the exam expecting you to be perfect with grammar? Is the examination expecting you to be perfect with grammar? Yes or no? Makulay ang buhay. Alam nyo, kanina ko pa iniisip tong kantang to. Alam ko maka maraming makaka-relate dito. Yeah, no, it's not telling you to be perfect with grammar, okay? <clears throat> yeah, it's not expecting you to be perfect with grammar, de ba? It's not, basically. Okay. Oh my God, I'm late with Mama D. Don't worry, Michelle, I'm, not, I'm here. All right. <clears throat> okay. Si Sir Manuel lang po, not me. Kakabahan ako kahit ako magtatanong sa'yo, Mama. <laughs> Kaloka ka, Ate Genji. Okay. An mga anak, <clears throat> naalala niyo itong kantang to? Ewan ko pero maraming makakarelate dito. Alam ko, yung iba, naging graduation song nyo rin to. <clears throat> I'm glowing, glowing inside with your love, shining through. 
thank you for everything you do. Sino nakarelate doon? <laughs> Sino nakarelate sa kanta na yun? <laughs> Meron ba? Meron ba dito na yun ang graduation song nyo nung high school? Meron? Wala. Wala akong kabatch dito. Huwag naman na tayo maglukuhan, mga anak. Hindi yun yung graduation song nyo nung high school. <laughs> diba? Habang kinakanta yun. <laughs> Habang kinakanta yun. Meron, umiiyak-iyak ka pa. <laughs> Hindi ka na makakanta ng tama. Diba? Hindi ka na makakanta ng tama, diba? I'm glowing. Glow. Ano iniiyak-iyak mo dyan, diba? Nakagraduate ka na ng high school. <laughs> I'm 32. <laughs> Graduation song namin yan nung high school. Diba? Mm. Ito pa. Elementary graduation song. What a journey it has been. High school life sa inyo? Sharon Cuneta, di ba? <clears throat> Miss Leia Salonga, journey, di ba? Umiyak yun. What a journey it has been. Tapos magtigil mo sa picture mo, ang pangit mo kasi nakatoga ka, umiyak <laughs> Ang sarap, nakaka-nostalgic, di ba? Hi, nako. Oo, no? Ginawang commercialized yung kanta na yan. I think it's with a shampoo brand before. Alright, guys. So, yeah. Look at this. Okay? There's no such thing as a perfect person when it comes to grammar. Even us lecturers, we're not perfect with grammar. Native speakers, they're not perfect with grammar. Diba? So, guys, yeah, better calm down. Okay? Because sometimes, the students tend to sabotage themselves. Diba? They tend to sabotage themselves on the exam. You tend to overthink these things. Diba? O, umamin kayo. Huwag tayo maglukuhan dito. Sino dito ang nag-overthink ng exam nila? Diba? Say, I do, I did just today. Diba? Meron ba? Sino dito ang nag-overthink ng exam nila? You know what I always tell my students is that you don't have to think, just do. Okay? You don't have to think. Just do. Okay? All right, guys. So, let's now move on to the parts of... Unfortunately, I did. See? Mga anak, do not overthink. Okay? Do not overthink the outcome of your exam. Don't overthink the flow of your exam. Do not overthink your examiners. Do not overthink the topics. Okay? Believe me, the IELTS speaking examination during our time, and I believe until this time, is one of the easiest tests there is. Okay? It's one of the easiest. It's just that it's the most nerve-wracking of all. Okay? Do yes, you need to enjoy the moment. Diba? Ako ito ang lagi kong sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko. Okay, listen carefully. Bago tayo pumunta sa parts, okay? Before we go to the parts of speaking. Okay? <clears throat> Alright. This is what I always tell my students, guys. Okay? What I always tell them is that if you failed the exam before, okay, if you failed the exam before, you should be excited to go back to your exam because this time you're going to show them the difference, okay? The difference that you can actually bring onto the table, right? So if you have taken the exam before, this time instead of being mortified with your examination, you should go there. You should go there to be excited. You should be excited to go there to show the difference this time. What changed, right? If there is a change. Ngayon kapag ka naman first time mo magtake ng exam, just don't think about it. You don't have an experience yet. So believe me, there's nothing to overthink, anak. Okay? Do not overthink. Do not self-sabotage. Because sometimes the students, that's their problem, is that they over they 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 self-sabotage themselves. Hmm? Ang pangit nung, ano, they self-sabotage na lang. Tanggalin nyo na yung themselves. Okay? So do not do that. Okay? Ako sa lahat ng bagay. Don't overthink everything. Daryl, ano ka ba? Huwag kang mag-alala. Mahal ka rin nun. Hmm? Okay. So, klaro na, bongga. Ready na tayong mag-move sa part ng exam. Lang, lang, ano? Sa parts ng exam. <clears throat> yeah. Um, here's a solution. If your momentum is going down, you're, bur you're burnt out. 
If your momentum on the exam is going down, you're burnt out. So what should you do? Just take one or two days break and then come back. That's basically it. Okay? Kapag ka bumababa na ang momentum mo sa exam, ibig sabihin na ma-burn out ka na. No? Na -burn Not sa exam. Kasi sometimes yung iba, bumababa ang momentum sa exam kasi napipreoccupy ng ibang bagay. You're preoccupied by other things. Diba? So what you should do is just take a few... My love, you deserve a few break, okay? Just breathe. Take a breather, okay? Maybe one day or two days, and then when you're ready, come back, okay? Ah, magpapay ka pala, sir. Sige nga po. Dalawang taon nga ako magbe-break sa exam. Huwag <laughs> naman ganon. Okay, guys. So, just before we continue, guys, okay? Hi! Ah. Listen, guys. Listen, listen. Okay? I am pretty much excited to announce this again, okay? For those of you who have seen my discussion, we're not yet done, guys, okay? I'm just going to be announcing something and then we'll go back to the parts of the exam, okay? Don't leave the meeting. Okay, it's just that um, I think for those of you who saw me discussing in October or November last year, I'm not sure if that's October or November, I have announced this, okay? And then I did not announce it ever again, okay? But now, I am happy to announce it again, okay? So what are you going to be announcing again? Our award-winning program is back with a bang! Okay, many times students are requesting for this program, but we cannot accept enrollees because there is an ongoing batch, okay? They already graduated this week. Just last week, no? Lahat ng part ng program na to, nakagraduate na. So now we are accepting another batch for this one. Kasi itong preview program namin na to, mga anak, hindi kami basta-basta tumatanggap dito. Kasi we ensure that we finish the batch first, okay, before we accept the students. And the last time I offered this one to the students, I think is November. So November, December, January, February, March na. Okay? Almost four months bago natapos yung batch namin. And the good news about this one is lahat ng nakikita nyo nakapost ngayon sa Facebook page ng Elite Intellect na yung nakapasa, they are all products of this batch, okay? So what program are you talking about, Sir Joseph? This is Elite Focus, okay? A review program that will help you focus on your weakness. Okay, so Elite Focus, guys, is a program with which the students are given a chance to just focus on their weaknesses and turn them into their new strengths, okay? So Elite Focus is back with the bag, sir. What is Elite Focus? So it is an IELTS review program designed to help the students focus on their weaknesses on the exam. This is unlimited review with no expiration, but if you're going to be taking it na within, with the batch, then go by all means do it. So free materials, book and writing compilation, live and recorded classes for more flexible schedules, 100 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching in speaking and writing, plus 20 hours of assessment with the, the master lecturer, okay? So 20 hours with me, okay? Assessing you further when it comes to your capacity. One-on-one -on -one sessions on grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation for Elite Focus. Okay, so sir, how much is Elite Focus with Elite Intellect 9? So we are now accept mga anak, sorry ha, 20 students muna tayo. Okay, 20 students muna. Kasi last time, 30 tinanggap namin, medyo naluka kami ng mga coaches. Okay, so 20 students muna. So there's still an exclusive IFNG discount, which is 2,500 pesos. Okay, so... You're only going to pay 4999 instead of paying 7500 for your review. If you're an IFNG member or if you're an IFNG viewer, just type IFNG Focus on our Facebook page. Or if you are a group, okay, let's say three group, three people and above, iisa lang ang representative, di ba? So you're going to be paying 3999 per student instead of 7500 okay? So do send a message to our Facebook page right there. Enroll now. We're only going to be accepting 20 students for Elite Focus. So if you are up for the challenge of focusing on your weaknesses for you to become a better test taker, Elite Focus is for you. Okay, so you may actually message us on our Facebook page. The Facebook page of Elite Intellect Night is right there on our chat box, okay? It's, it's, it's on the chat box here at Zoom, it's, and it's on the comment section of our Facebook page right there, okay? So you may send the message right there with Mom Tanya. Click the link that Mom Genji Jimenez and Sir Kyle Jello the L sent. No, And then once you are on the page of Elite Intellect Night and you would want to be a part of Elite Focus Program, guys, no, with the exclusive IFNG discount, just type IFNG 
focus. So I am excited to be working with this new batch kasi may mga bago tayong gagawin na hindi ko pa nagagawa before. Magbabanji jumping tayo. Okay? So see you guys in class for the Elite Focus Batch. Send a message on our Facebook page right now. Okay? So let's continue. <clears throat> Okay, so ito na. I'm going to continue with my elite notes, mga anak. Alrighty. And ito. Overthinking ruins everything. It's like paying a debt that won't, that you don't owe. Just think that you can control everything. Tama! Tama ka dyan, EJ! Uh, my exam is on the 28th. Am I late? No, Plinky, you're just right on time, my love, okay? You're right on time. If your exam will be on May 28th, you will be right on time for Elite Focus, okay? All right. <clears throat> Tama yan. Ang ganda nung sinabi mo na yun. EJ, the bishop, okay? Mga anak, no, uh, don't overthink, okay? <clears throat> uh, yes, Don, no? Uh, yes, Don. Same rate. Kapag ka naka-enroll na sa amin, ang alam ko may libreng upgrade na kayo eh. Pag-enrolled student na. Ha? Pag-enrolled student na. Okay. So, let's continue guys. Okay? Let's talk about the parts of speaking. Okay? Let's talk about the speaking part one. Okay? So, I want you, I, I'm not going to be giving you uh, what they call this what you're expecting when it comes to the way I see, uh, the way people see the speaking exam. What I'm going to be writing down here is how I see the speaking exam parts, okay? Let's talk about the speaking part one, okay? So basically, guys, the speaking part one is, okay, a small talk. Okay, so when we say it's a small talk, okay, two to four sentences would be enough here, okay? When you are giving answers, two to four sentences would be enough for the speaking part one. Another thing that I would want you to remember, guys, is all questions here, okay, are related, okay, to... Your, your, not my, yours, not mine, okay? Your preferences, experience, and observation, okay? So, mga anak, there's no reason for you not to answer the questions for the part one, okay? There's no reason for you to answer the questions on the part one because all the questions here, okay, are related to your preferences, experience, and observation, okay? What else? Another thing that I would want you to remember for this one is detailing matters, okay? And make sure that your delivery is conversational, okay? Be conversational. Okay? Hindi po pwede mga anak na para kayong nagme-memorize na kung ano-ano dito. You have to be conversational for you to get the target score. Okay? Let's say the examiner asked me a question. Let's say the examiner said, okay, let's say the examiner said, um, do you think people nowadays share, uh, or families nowadays, uh, do you think families nowadays share less time with one another? Okay? So instead of saying, well, of course, because of the a lot of things, no, no. Unfortunately, that is an observation that I have had. Maybe it is brought about by the burgeoning of technology. A lot of youngsters nowadays or a lot of young individuals nowadays tend to focus more when it comes to their gadgets and they are sometimes glued with their virtual reality. Hence explaining why a lot of families do not have quality time anymore. Like, let's say, the Filipino tradition of sharing uh, a meal in the evening together is already long gone because of the burgeoning of technology. Okay, so basically, you're conversing, no? Hindi ka nagpapaka-robot pag sumasagot ka ng tanong ng examiner. Okay? Or, usually, mga anak, ang tanong dito, yes or no? Okay, and why? Agree or disagree? Okay, if you agree or disagree about the topic, Okay, or sometimes it would be asking you about your own preference. Okay, so basically, you just have to 
calm down. Okay? When it comes to your speaking part one, don't overthink it. Okay? Be conversational. Sir, tuturuan mo pa kami ng mga techniques. Oo, pinapakilala lang kita sa speaking part one. Sa mga susunod discussion natin, anak, tuturuan kita ng mga techniques na pwede mong gamitin sa mga parts ng exam. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the speaking part two. Okay, you guys already know what speaking part two is, right? Meron ba dito na hindi nakakaalam kung ano ang speaking part two? Meron po ba dito na hindi nakakaalam kung ano ang speaking part 2? Okay, let's talk about the speaking part 2. Okay? So this is what we call the task card. Okay? When we say task card, guys, you will be given one minute to prepare. Okay? And then you will be given a question with bullet points. Okay. And then after your one minute preparation time, you will have two full minutes to talk about your topic. Okay. So, you will be given two full minutes to talk about your topic here, okay? So, guys, what's the common challenge here? It's reaching the two minutes, okay? Some students, they find it quite difficult to reach the two minutes because they're doing something wrong. Instead of seeing this as the task card, I want you to see this as tell a story. Yes, because you would need to tell a story here on this part for you to reach the two minutes time that you will be given on the test, okay? Huwag kayong mag-alala mga anak sa mga susunod na discussion natin dito sa Elite uh, IFNG with Elite on Fridays, 9 p.m. for the entire month of March. I'll be teaching you the techniques for this one. Maniniwa maniwala kayo. Pag natutulan niyo yung technique na ituturo ko sa inyo sa part two, magugulat ka tapos na yung two minutes, okay? All right, <clears throat> now... Guys, I have a question. How many parts is the IELTS exam? I have a question, guys. Just to update you guys here. How many parts is the IELTS speaking exam? How many parts? Okay, so some students say it's three. Some students say it's four. Some students say it's three. Yeah, it's now four parts, no? Alam nyo, predict ko to nung... 2018. I, I don't know if, if one of my students in 2018 is watching this, okay? Sinabi ko to sa klase nyo, naalala nyo noon, sabi ko, nararamdaman ko magiging four parts na ang speaking exam. At nagkatotoo nga po, the exam now is four parts, okay? The third part, okay, but it's not called part three. The third part is what we call your follow-up round, okay? This is the speaking part, follow-up. Okay, basically, guys, no, here you will be asked a question or a series of questions. Okay, which are all related to the general topic. of your part two. Okay. So halimbawa, ang tanong sa akin sa part two ay tungkol sa kanina, uh, let's say, ang tanong sa akin tungkol sa families or technology, okay? So here, you might be asked questions too that are related to that, di ba? So halimbawa, you were asked about books, okay? So po pwede yung itanong sa'yo dito ay changes with books, influences ebooks or physical copies okay so you have to remember guys on the follow up round it's highly related to the topic on your part 2 okay i know some people say it's a part of your part 2 but this way is different this one is a different part okay so it's related to your part 2 lahat ng tanong dito 
correlated sa part to Sir, ilang tanong po ang may itanong sa akin dyan? You might be asked two to three questions here. Okay, now for some, two questions. Okay, for some, just two questions. For some, three questions. Pero meron ako mga estudyante na tanong ng four questions dito. Okay, that's the speaking follow-up. Okay, all right. Now, let's take a look at the part three. That is second part three. Okay, so Sir Joseph, what is the speaking part three about? Okay, basically, guys, this is what we call the abstract part. Okay, so when we say it is an abstract part, good news mo na or bad news? Anong gusto niyo, guys? Good news mo na or bad news? Okay. Bad news, okay. The bad news about the abstract part is that all the questions are in depth, okay? Lahat ng tanong dito malalim, lahat ng tanong medyo challenging, lahat ng tanong medyo mahirap, medyo lang naman. Okay, but the good news is there's no right or wrong answers here, okay? You have to remember for the abstract part, guys, there's no right or wrong answers here. There is no right or wrong answers because, guys, the questions here are based on your idea. Okay. Claro bunga. Kaninong idea ito? Sa examiner o sa'yo? Sa'yo. Okay? So, it's based on your own idea. So, pakialam pa ba ng examiner kung tama yung sinasabi mo o hindi? Okay, there's no right or wrong answers here because these are abstract, in-depth questions and they would be dependent on your own idea. Okay, so as I tell you on the exam, lage, it's not about what you said, it's always how you say it. Okay, so yan ang lage yung tatandaan. Okay, so guys, here you would need to detail and supplement your answers. Okay, you would need to detail and supplement your answers. And of course, you would need to show the depth of your acumen. Okay, yung lalim ng ideas natin, kailangan nating ipakita po dito. Okay? Sir, ilang tanong po ang naiitanong usually sa part 3? Well, the range, ha? The range that I always see is 3 to 5 questions. Okay? 3 to 5 questions, but don't you worry, not all of them are quite difficult. Okay? All right. So, look at that. Diba? That's the speaking part one, part two, follow up of the speaking of the examination. So, guys, don't worry, I'll be sending you a copy of this one. All right. Okay. So, guys, let me just share this to you. Okay. All right. Most important lesson for tonight. Okay. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have to remember when you are with the Lord, you're always overflowing, okay, with hope. Okay. Don't let go of that hope because that that one tiny speck of hope in your heart could actually be set ablaze for you to go forward with your faith and your dreams in life, okay? So let's just pr quickly pray for each and every one of you who attended tonight, okay? Oh, by the way, guys, may announcement pa ako. Let's just pray for each and every one. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank the Lord God for another opportunity for us to glorify your name by sharing your word and, of course, to teach the students here at IFNG with their speaking examination. Father, bless the admins of IFNG, Lord God, because they are doing this for the students who would need help with their, when it comes to their IELTS examination. And Lord, please bless the students who are watching right now. Lord, hear the will of their hearts. You know that they need their examine, this examination, Father, for them to get somewhere. And we know that when they are with you, they will get somewhere in life. And Lord, thank you so much for the new students that you have guided towards the way of elite intellect. Nine is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So guys, no? next week po, we will be discussing about how to arrange your details on the speaking. Okay? 
plus the techniques for part one, part two, part three. And then the week after that, I will still be teaching you more techniques for speaking. And then on the last week, this March, we're going to go for the assessment or the live assessment. If you want to volunteer to be our student, no? If you want to volunteer to be our student on the live assessment, just message the admins of IFNG. Okay, but before that, I promise I will be the student first, okay? All right, guys. So again, guys, no, before we end our discussion for this evening, Elite Focus, okay? We are accepting 20 students for Elite Focus. For those of you who are asking how much, it's just 4,999 instead of 7,500. And if you're a group, then that's just 3,999 instead of 7,500. You may share a message on our Facebook page. The link was sent there on our chat box, okay? All right. And of course, we also have um, Ate Genji sent the link there okay so guys inahain mo ang sarili mo ay sir manuel ikaw ang ano ko ha examiner ko no ikaw examiner ko at that time okay so guys for those of you who will be a part of elite focus i am excited and of course i'll see you again next week guys here at ifng 9 p.m pht for our discussion for the speaking examination please invite your friends for them to see our discussion too with mama d okay so guys in behalf of the staff of elite intellect nine and of course in behalf of all the people who are behind IFNG. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And I'm sending my love to you from the Philippines. God bless everyone. I'll see you next week on Friday. Bye-bye. Back to you, admins. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mother Dearest. Boy, Thank you so much you'll be for my that examiner, huh? All right, sure. Why not? Why not, Hi. girl? Girl, yes, yes, like this, girl, yes, like that. Okay, so um, thank you so much for that wonderful lecture. And if you guys are members of IFNG, you guys are going to get the results. Uh, the what do you what do you call this? Elite notes. The handouts. Right? Yeah, the handouts from Elite. Uh, you, uh, if you're not a member yet, uh, just message the group chat and. We want to attend. We want to invite you to be one of the people to participate in the rare occasion that Mama D is going to assess you. So try your best to practice and good luck, everybody, on your IELTS journey. Have a nice day, guys. Bye bye. I love you guys so much. Bye. Love you too. I have uh, IELTS family, uh, in elite intellect family. Mam Genji, I know you're there and you're listening. Love you lots also. Bye, everyone. <laughs>